In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to make the simplest changes to any of the pre-built titles that you have in the program. I'm going to show you only how to change the words. We'll do more about the title designer lately where we'll, we will change the fonts and other features. But if I have a video like the one you see on the screen, which is two guys talking in the garage, and I want to add a title of my very own, but use one of the templates built into PowerDirector, let me show you how simply to do that. So I'll click left to the left of the library on the T for Title Room. I can use the F7 key if I also want to do it that way. And my screen will populate with all of the titles that came in with my particular copy of PowerDirector. I have about 75 to choose from. When you click on any of the titles, you will see on the preview screen what it would look like. And some, as you note, have motion from the top or from the bottom. They have different fonts. They have different backgrounds. And so you can pick one that you like, one that fits uh, your mood at the time or uh, how you want your uh, particular presentation to begin. Let's assume that we want to use the flip. So what I'm going to do is take this and hold the mouse down and drag it to the track in the timeline. I'm going to use it on track one. I will drag it and drop it. Now the default length for all of these uh, titles is 10 seconds. You just hold the mouse over and you can see. If you want to change the default length of all of your titles at once, you can click on the gear at the very top. It says Set User Preferences. Move down to Editing. And then on Durations, you can cho change the title to more or less than 10 seconds. You can also change the effect, the subtitles, the magic music, the transition length, or the image file duration. That's all customizable. I'm going to cancel that for now. And now I have my title, but it says Power Director. I need to change that. So I can either double click on my title or with it highlighted, I can click on Designer. That will take me to my title designer. And if I'm simply going to change only the words, all I need to do is have the area that contains the words highlighted, which will normally be the default. And we're going to click here, anywhere in that bar, do Control A to choose all of them. And then I can type in whatever I want. Let's call this um, the great movie. Nope, oh, no space. And then cl simply click OK. Now what this does is it, it inserts my edits into this copy of the title. It doesn't change the original flip in any way. It just change what I've changes what I've placed in my track and my timeline. So if I want to go ahead and play it, I'll leave this on clip so it'll just play the clip. And now it says the great movie. And there we go. And so I can take my um, my particular movie here and I can drag it next to it and it would immediately go into my little video. Let me show you another time so you can see it repeated. I'm going to right click on it and click on cut and I'll say leave gap. That means the area between the title and the video will will not be filled with anything. And let's take another one just for fun. Here's one called title here. I'll drag it and move it to the timeline in track number one. And I can click on Designer. And now I see that this particular title starts off the screen. It says Add Your Text Here. I click inside it, do Control A. And I will say A, Fabulous Movie. And then I will print uh, or click on OK. It will inherit all the features in this particular template. And then when I click on the right arrow, 
There's my fabulous movie coming in. Now, there are many other changes that you will want to make over time in terms of, of using any of these titles. But this is a very simple way to start the process and quickly put a title using a default template in your movie. In the next lesson, we're going to show you some of the customizations you can make to the look and feel of the letters that you use in your title.